Hey everybody, welcome back. These pictures are a, a reminder of the crash Camaro that we are working on right now. And it's been a while since we've had a video on this car, but it's because that we were searching for somebody with a frame rack experience to pull the car out. And as you can see here, we've got the car hooked up to the rack. And uh, Oviedo is the man who's had 40 years experience on this machine, as well as metalwork and bodywork and so on. And he's uh, getting the car prepared here to do the final pull. Now, I had gotten there a little bit too late to show the initial pull but as you can see here compared to the previous videos on this car you can see that a lot of it's been pulled out already as evidenced by where the steering wheel is there and you can you can compare the where the steering wheel was in the beginning to where it is now in the in the beginning the steering wheel was right up against the headliner practically and moved over almost to the center of the car underneath the rear view mirror but here you can see that the steering wheel is almost back in its original position and the firewall has been pulled out enough now to where it's almost at the normal part or no, normal location. So th this portion of the video here, as I said, is gonna is showing the final pull on the car. And as you can see here, he's getting the machine all set up here to do the final pull. And I'm gonna let the video run here for a minute and let it speak for itself. This machine is really something else if you haven't seen one in its action. But he's got that giant hook and chains hooked up in the specific spots, mainly where the car was initially hit. And you want to pull it out in the same general area that the initial impact was. So as you can see here, it's very slowly pulling. And you can almost see everything straighten up. So he's walking over to me at this point telling me that the pull is finalized. And as you can see here, the car is significantly straighter than it was before. And again, you can, you can see uh, in the previous videos how badly damaged the car was. And I've had a number of comments from people saying that the car, there's no hope for it, and it's parts car, and so on and so forth. But in my opinion, you don't trash a, Z, a 69 Z28 unless you absolutely have to. So in my opinion, damage like this is easier to fix than one that's rusted from bumper to bumper. In a minute here, Ovidio is going to do a walk around the car with me and explain each step of the process that he is going to perform in replacing, removing and replacing some of these panels. So I'll let him talk at this point. Okay. Uh, in this area, we're going to remove the lower lower firewall and dashboard and the upper cow or the lower cow upper cow no that's the low this is the lower cow lower cow we're gonna repair we're gonna line up the lower cow restore it uh, in order to keep the 
the original the, tags the trim tag correct trim tags and the original VIN number we have on the right upper, right. Cor upper corner we want to keep this VIN number yes and that VIN number and we're going to replace the firewall we're going to trim the firewall saving right here at the seam uh, right here at the seam and saving this number and this number over here and we're going to remove we're gonna clean up all this uh, dry silicone and remove the dashboard and remove the lower firewall in order to repair the upper upper cowl, lower cowl. So we're gonna straighten the we're, upper cowl yes. out so that we can retain the original VIN numbers. Yes. We're and gonna, the cowl tag. And the cowl tag, yes. Right. And we're gonna remove on the inside. So why don't you go around there and show me. Inside. We're gonna cut out. You want some light? Yeah. We're gonna cut out metal. Let's see over here. We're gonna cut out this metal over this pot welds over here. We're gonna cut out these pot welds over here to separate this panel away from the rear floor pan. And we're gonna remove, cut out these welds all the way to here so we can remove the floor pan and remove it from here on the seams and clean it all out, saving the rocket panel mold, the rocket panel panel, yes. and left and right side rocket panels. And we're gonna remove all these areas. Yeah, we wanna remove these seat brackets too, because I don't think we have new ones of those. Yes, seat brackets, we recover the seat brackets so we yeah. can reuse them. Yeah. Clean them all out, paint them, and reuse them. Yes. And we're gonna remove all the way to here, all the way up to the area where the panel joins together. Right. And saving this panel over here yeah the original panel to trim this area over here that is part of the floor right and once we get together once we get all this out we should be able to repair replace as much as possible and repair whatever it has to be repaired right all yeah, I believe people. I believe that the floor panel stops here, and then this is the lower uh, firewall. Okay. Right. Yeah. So we have these new parts over here. Right, we do. And, yeah. And we're gonna replace all these areas, all this insulation, pull it out. Yeah. All this insulation is coming new. Right. And we're gonna section the floor right there where it seems. Yeah. Where the seam ends. Yeah. And we're gonna go straight to this side here, all the way across, all the way across over here. Right. So we can get all this panel out, recovering this panel over here. Yeah. And the seat bench. Yeah. Seats. Yeah. The brackets. Right. And over here, we're gonna cut out metal where the seams ends all the way to here as you see we're cleaning it to, to find the spot wells right so we can make a clean cut and remove this panel over here yeah and remove this panel over or back there if we see that let's go on the back you see on the back we have a floor pan that it needs a little bit of treatment. So yeah. we're gonna replace this floor pan, saving as much as possible as this bracket over here for the latch yeah. and rear body panel. Right. And these brackets over here for the bumper reinforcement yeah. brackets, yeah. we're saving. 
if we have them, if they're available, we will replace, we will replace them. If they're not, then we save them. Yeah. These brackets. Actually, the trunk pan, the only thing it really needs to be replaced is the center portion there, right? Yes. We can keep the the ends. No. The we extensions. Replace it. Oh, okay. We replace the whole thing all the way to here. Oh, okay. Yeah. We replace everything. Yeah. The whole floor pan, all one unit, easier. Right. Yeah. So we don't cut metal. That's true. We remove it from the rear body panel and yeah. reinforce it properly to make it look professional. Right. Because uh, when we do this type of work, this type of restoration, the car must look original. Exactly, yeah. So we gonna go all the way around the edges and remove as much as possible. Yeah. Remove and replace a whole new floor pan, real yeah. floor pan. Right. And over here, we're gonna remove this small this weather strip and clean the channel all the way around to put a new weather strip at the end. Yeah, exactly. And the trunk, we're gonna re we're gonna remove it later on after we replace the most of these panels to work on it. It's pretty much what we're gonna do for today. So then let's uh, go to the driver's side. So we have we have the new tulip. Yes, we have a new pillar. Right. And a new what do you call this? Tulip. New tulip. Yeah. Yes, and we're gonna remove. That's that's the. Same we're gonna remove the seams. Yeah. And we're gonna cut out metal, the spot wells, to recover this area and recover this area as much as possible. Yeah. If, in case we need it. Yeah. We we replace it. We repair it. If we don't need it, then we just delete it. Yeah. Well, this one we definitely need. But we we one, have a new one of these anyway. We have a new one, we, we put a new one. Yeah. If we don't have a new one, then we repair it. Yeah. No, we have all new, new. No we unit, have new parts. New. This is what we're going to do today. And this and is part this, of the project. And then, of course, this rocker panel, obviously, is going to be replaced. Now, yes. we do have new quarter panels as well. And... At first, I wanted to keep the original quarter panels, but I don't think these are any good. There, there's a lot of rust up underneath here. Yes. Uh, on both sides. To repair the, the housing, since we have the new two quarter panels, we replace the two new quarter panels. Yeah. And what I would like to do, what I would like to have it cut out is the real glass anytime now. So we can have more room to go in it ah. and more light and i also need to have this glass cut out to work around it yeah. around the channel yeah and work around the car so yeah. we can move more freely yeah when we cut out metal right uh, so now would you you wouldn't remove the quarter panels till after the floor is done exactly right? yes after we remove the quarter panels after the rear floor pan is in it and the, the, the cabin floor pan. Because you want you don't want the whole car to fall apart. No, we want to keep that reinforcement on the vehicle. Right. So we can work on the outside. Right. But right. for now, we're going to cut out the rear body panel, rear floor pan. Yes. And part of these brackets that we point out. Yeah. Because we have to put a reinforcement on the back before we go back on the front. Yeah. So. Our goal for today is to clean out as much as possible in the trunk and cut out metal properly to remove the floor pan. Yeah. And we're gonna remove the gas tank. We need to the remove gas the tank. gas tank to, to, to I think the gas the... tank's already gone. It's in it, but Oh it's oh okay, the gas we tank. We will is remove there. it. Okay. We, yeah. will, we will remove it to, to, to work more freely inside and out. That's our goal. So for then today. today you're gonna you're gonna get what done today. Uh, we're gonna start drilling now metal on the for the rear to, to remove the rear body body panel, okay. rear rear floor pan. Yeah. 
And then what about the uh, main floor plan? Main floor plan, we'll do it after we finish the inside. Oh, real, real so you'll cut this plan. out and then put the new one in? Yes. And then go cut the uh, Then go to the front, board. yes. I see. Because uh, we, we want to keep the, uh, the integrity Inch. of the body. That's right, yeah. Uh, original. Right. So, right now, we don't have serious damage on the outside, on the back of the car. That's why we're gonna start building up the rear floor pan. Yeah, good. So we can keep and the integrity then, of the And then, as body. I mentioned before, we have the blue Z28 over here as a reference. So if you need to make any measurements or whatever, you come over to this car, measure it. Yes, yes we will. Yeah. Eventually, need to come in here and, and see the distance, to keep the distance on the structure and the height, the level, right? body level. Yeah. So the car will be properly Correct. rebuilt. Yeah. And make sure that it looks just like this side over here. Right. Original. Yeah, this this is all original. I mean this car has never been crashed or anything. So yes. all the all the panels are original. And that's our goal for today. We're gonna start on that. So as you can see here, he's got the trunk pan almost completely removed. The only thing he has left to do are the outer edges where the welds, where some of the outer edge welds are, and uh, spot welds. And now he will go around and drill those welds out. And then here's the brand new trunk pan panel. And it's it, the trunk pan panel is complete. It's got it's got all the brackets and the bumper supports and uh, <clears throat> everything there to replace the entire trunk pan. And as you can see here, he's got the uh, welds ground out so that now he goes around and drills out all of those spot welds. And then he'll replace the trunk pan with those exact uh, spot welds in the exact position that they were originally. And again, here's another shot of the little bit of area there that he has to remove by drilling out those spot welds. So that's going to do it for this video, but I will have the next video on uh, the continuation of this. And I want to give a shout out to Auto Center Marin, where all this body work is being done. They're next door to my shop in San Rafael, California. And stay tuned for the next video coming up probably in the next few days or so. So we'll see you then. Thank you so much for watching.